So you finally got your hands on a supersonic wind tunnel. And now you just want to measure velocity in a 3D volume, but your particles are just far too small to do full-on tomography. But that's okay, because you can just use two cameras and still reconstruct the 3D average flow with a scanning stereoscopic PAV system. If you're scanning as you run the tunnel, then you can do the whole volume on a single pass and avoid variability between runs at the sacrifice of convergence of your statistics. But that's okay, because now you have a fully resolved 3D measurement of velocity that you can use to derive pressure with on your algorithm, and because it's a compressible flow, temperature and density, all in 3D. Check out my video and papers for more details on the technique.